persistent, annoying, stubborn, irritating, bothersome bastards! Jeez, don't be so mean! You won't disappear! You won't die! I can't kill you! Whoa, he's really pissed now! Unforgivable! Unacceptable! I'll kill you! You're gonna die! Be gone! This is ridiculous! We have to make him see our Tina as soon as possible! This is the malice? The core of Fear the Great? What intensity! I feel like I'm being crushed by the sheer weight of malice. Hmm. Is he finally ready to settle this? Excellent! I accept the challenge! Uh, me, me too! I'm not gonna lose! Desco won't either! Miss Artina's heart will reach Mr. Nemo! Yes! For Artina's sake, I won't let you destroy this world! I will stop you, no matter what! Shut up! Stop saying her name! Miss Artina wouldn't become an angel! I won't believe that! Please believe us! I'm right here! Right here in front of you! Shut up! Shut up! I can't hear you or see you! You're just one of the demons! He... he heard me! I won't approve of anyone! Demons! Angels! I won't! I won't forgive you! Die! Disappear! I'll destroy you! Shut up! I admit that we demons have neglected our responsibilities and brought confusion to the lives of many humans. I pay my respects to your dedication and devotion, even after your body has perished. That being said, Judge Nemo, I'm going to defeat you, to bring Hades to the worlds and restore them to how they're supposed to be. Finally, to keep the promise I made, to protect the one I could not! Mr. Vampire... Ah, he totally said it! He declared to protect her! Go, Bowsy! A confession of his love! Desco doesn't know why, but her energy is a million times higher now! What is this? I'm kind of getting a tingling too. No, it wasn't like that! Don't you dare misunderstand what I meant! promises I've made, so it has nothing to do with Artina. But I'm going to protect his... Oh yes, that's right. Sardines! I can't let sardines die off with the rest of the world! I said I'm going to protect sardines! Hey! Are you guys listening to me? No, not a single soul, my lord. And it's all because of your careless comment. Yeah. No idea what's going on now. Get ready, Judge Nemo! I'll make you see through your blinded eyes! You're all gonna die! Are you annoyed by that yet? You should be. Luminaire here, how's it going guys? I am so sorry I um, it's been so long since I've uploaded another installment of this. Truth be told, I wanted to get um, a few episodes out over the weekend, but uh, emergency family calls, uh, friend of you know, father of a friend of your aunt dies, gotta go town to Baltimore, so I have to go to New York to uh, babysit my cousins. Good times had by all. I had a fun, t fun enough time, but uh, yeah, I kind of screwed up my plans for uh, finishing this installment uh, over the weekend like I wanted to. So sorry about that, but I know you understand because why? Because I have awesome fans. That's right. Um, moving on. Uh, I will get this and one more up today, so we should finish the story mode tonight. Perfect timing because 
Modern Warfare 3 comes out and I'm going to the midnight uh, release. I'm going to see some uh, cool people there. I already paid for my, uh, fully paid for my copy. So I just have to go pick it up around midnight. Um, and probably playing to the wee hours of the morning. Which is, uh, and fortunately, while I do start my orientation at my job tomorrow, uh, that's not till 4 p.m. <laughs> so I can play until I can't play anymore, which I plan to. Um, other than that, I'm going to try to also upload... I think I'm close to the end of uh, Sonic Generations, so I'm going to try to upload that today as well. Get as much out of the way as possible. Um, I think I'm pretty close to the end of that. And... Okay, if you'd seen it, I had uh, gotten... 7th place on a stage in the world at the time of the recording. Of course, now when I go and check, I'm number 15, and a bunch of people have already beaten my time. Damn. <laughs> but, what can you do? The game's still relatively new, so obviously people are going to keep practicing and get better at it. I would be surprised if some people use some of the tricks in my video to improve their own time past mine. That's the way it works sometimes. But it's cool, I had a fun run, and it still looks impressive to watch. Although, I'll, I will admit, if I'll admit that I did feel a little bit, uh, I did feel some chagrin, so I tried my best for like an hour or so to improve upon my time, but I, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm really having trouble uh, beating my time, and which is funny because I know like the best time is like a, a full like 11 seconds better than mine, but a lot of people are like 5 to 6 seconds better than me, but I can't even get into that range. So what are you going to do? As for this stage, um, tons of horrible bonus effects, and they would take their time uh, the first turn to giant magic change and dual magic change. Of course, I never seem to notice that right off the bat. Hold on, sneeze coming. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. All right, but enough about that. Uh, let's see. We did Raspberry last time. And now we're going to do another one of the original three, Etna. I know a lot of people like Etna. I'm pretty ambivalent about her. Uh, she is also voiced by Michelle Ruff now, although in the original game she didn't used to be. I don't remember who her old voice actor was. But I'm a fan of Michelle. Uh, I, I think she's pretty funny, and I think she does a good job as Etna. Uh, so here's the description. Oh, shit. Um, Etna has so much personality that she'd probably get put into people's combat parties whether she or what stats warrant it or not. She's a fun character, and that's not going to change. As for her actual combat effectiveness, Etna is a mid-tier damage dealer. She doesn't have exceptional attack or ludicrous special skills. Her strongest claim to scary damage comes from the wonderful sadistic ability. Have her start combo attacks to ensure that enemies start losing health as quickly as possible. In random maps, when enemies are often slain in one or two hits, sadistic is something that helps to keep Etna competitive even against characters with somewhat higher attack stats. Uh, that may be true, but I think you should just learn that ability from her and put it on much better characters overall, like Laharl, who we'll get to later. Uh, Etna is the fourth event character unlocked in the postgame. She has uh, proficiencies in spears, axes, and guns, for some reason. Uh, although, she learns all the spear skill skills herself. She has movement of 4, throw range of 5. She is 25% weak to fire, 50% weak to wind. No, sorry. 50% resistant to wind, and neutral to ice. Her main ability, Dominant Smile, increases the stats of all printies by 30%. Probably means all ally printies. Uh, so, it's an ability that doesn't help her herself, this limiting her effectiveness overall, not to mention how many people have an army of printies they're going to use. Not many. So, that is a very niche ability, and I don't like her enough as a character to, um, <laughs> to make an excuse to try and use her. Uh, let's see, her second one, Ecstasy, increases team attack experience by 50% if she joins in. Uh, with Mount Ordeals 4, this is just not necessary, don't bother. And finally, Sadistic, which is good, because it deals 30% more damage when the enemy is at full health. Uh, glorious in the item world, like said, where you have characters that kill in one shot all the time. This, uh, 30% increase in damage to 
when you're doing um, already doing damage in the millions is quite a sizable chunk. So this is a great ability to add to other characters that might not have uh, good secondary abilities themselves. Um, for example, well, it's a lot better on Axel than his other abilities, that's for sure. <coughs> um, it'd be pretty cool on Desco if you want to replace three transformations, for example. It'd be great on Emizel, you know, it'd, it'd be great on a lot of good characters, to be honest. Um, so that's an awesome ability. Um, a lot of characters would not mind having that. Uh, let's see. As for her class skills, her first one is Printy Raid. Power is E. It can hit up to three tiles away. Uh, very basic attack. There's nothing noteworthy about it. Next is Sexy Beam. It's a fixed area of effect, and it's in the shape of a heart. Now I'm trying to remember how many people actually hit. I think it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, ten. It's like eight or ten. I really can't remember. Power is also E. Smash enemies in a heart-shaped area of effect. And it won't do a ton of damage to each enemy, but for a long area of effect attack, it's, in it's inexpensive to use. Yeah, but good luck finding a situation where you hit more than three enemies with this. And then finally, Chaos Impact. Which, unfortunately, uh, it's fixed. It hits all enemies around you in a square, so it hits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 enemies. But I hate attacks that hit around you. I think they're so limited in usefulness. Um, the power is C, so it's average. Toss Etna into the middle of enemy groups and let her unleash Chaos Impact for maximum effect. The damage is solid for an area of effect attack like this, and it's easy to hit multiple targets even when enemies don't clump perfectly. Yeah, sorry, I, I just don't care enough. I, <laughs> uh, I, I think overall she has pretty weak and mediocre skills and pretty mediocre abilities outside of Sadistic, which is awesome, but you should teach it to other characters. And finally, her aptitudes. We have HP 110. SP 110, Attack 120, Defense 120, Intelligence 90, Resistance 80, Hit 120, and Speed 100. Pretty damn good. And of course, add 25 to each one, and that will be her aptitudes after five incarnations. Um, so decent aptitudes. Um, you know, if, if you just play, love the character, by all means use her. Uh, I, I just... Uh, I've never been that crazy about her, and this game didn't change that at all. I mean, she's been in four games so far, and still not really improved enough by by my account. Sorry, Etna. You still make me laugh occasionally, though. Ugh. And that's her. The next, the next episode will be the last chapter of the main story, and... We'll get to go over Laharl. Woohoo! Uh, a character I actually do like using. And I'll get into that later. Um, oh yeah, one last uh, note. My PlayStation 3 is dead. Kaput. Sorry, buddy. We had a good run. Um, the guys that sent to do sent me an email said that the heat damage was uh, too severe and that it is damaged beyond repair. Uh, the processor, one of the main chips, is just dead. It doesn't work. You can't replace it. You can't fix it. Um, I have to buy a new one. Uh, they were nice enough, though, to refund my money entirely. And um, they're even they're going to send back my hard drive to transfer data and the game that was in my PlayStation 3 for no extra cost. So, uh, thanks very much, guys, for trying. I really appreciate it. Um, and... You know, I, I understand uh, it's a rare case. Um, so, so guys, if you have a ailing system that you can't seem to fix yourself or don't want to bother, uh, give these guys a shot. Even if um, they don't end up being able to fix your system, which you know, it's not their fault. It's um, nobody really could. But good customer service and um, speedy response. Uh, they're called Gopher Mods. Uh, just Google it. Uh, go for mods. G o p h e r m o d s. Uh, probably dot com. I think. Uh, yeah. So uh, try them out. I recommend them. They were nice. Uh, 
It's whenever I get my data, and whenever I can find the time or money, I will buy myself a new PS3 Slim, and they're what, 160 gigabytes now, or 320, I think those are the two? Uh, I'm not going to be able to play PS2 games anymore, that's a shame. I'm going to have to f somehow find a way to transfer the PS2 memory back onto my memory cards if I want to be able to play them on the PS2 again. Because I have like a few dozen hours of continued playthroughs on my PlayStation on my PlayStation 2 games. And, you know, if I wanted to keep playing, say, oh, I don't know, Final Fantasy X-2, for example, um, I would be dozens of hours behind and have to use my old PS2 data. So, I'd like to get that data back, if possible. I don't know if the Slims can make PS2 memory card data, because I don't know why they they would. They don't have the emulation software or hardware anymore. So, it's a good question. If not, I guess I could always find somebody else that still has a an old 60 gig fat one that can still hold PS2 data, and maybe that'll work. We'll see. Man, I'm going for one hell of a combo here. More than half the time, I'm just talking. I'm not even really paying attention to what I'm even doing on the screen. Uh, I leave that to you guys to do. But, there we go. It seems it all worked out for the best. Coming up next, the final chapter. Thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Ooh, shooter. Now wake yourself up, Judge Nemo. I know you can see Artina. Can you hear me? No! Can you see me? No! I can't see anything! I don't believe you. Please, just believe in my words once more. Just like you did back when you were a ragged soldier. Huh. Miss Artina? You're really... Yes. Please, open your heart to me. I'm right here. I... I can see... I can see you. You're... You're really an angel now. That's correct. Artina became an angel after she died. She watched over you and tried to guide you, even though saving you was the reason she was killed. Even though she was called a thief in the netherworld, she fought a lone battle to stop you from destroying the world. That's absurd! How could she- Yes, I too did not believe it at first, but that is the truth. For 400 years, she watched over you and wept, the helplessly pure angel. But that's Artina. <laughs> I'm a bit offended to hear that from you, Mr. Vampire, who refused to drink blood because of a promise he made to a lady. Ah, uh, so I just didn't notice. I didn't know Miss Artina was watching over me all this time. I've been such a fool. And I knew. I knew what I was doing wasn't going to make her happy. But I... I just couldn't forgive the humans. Nor the demons. But now I see. She knows what I've been doing all this time. I'm the biggest fool here. And I've made Miss Artina sad once again. Nemo! Wait! Are you running away? He's gone. The malicious tension in this area is slowly starting to lighten. Then, did we defeat Fear the Great? That's what it looks like. By the way, it was my lord, Valvatores, not we. My dream rocks! This dream is awesome! I saved the world! 
Now I just have to become a ruler of the world and fill this place with hot studs and tuxes and it'll be a perfect happy ending. Desko is glad Big Sis is happy, but she's not so sure about having saved the world as a final boss. I did it, Father. Now the Netherworld will be saved. But is everything really over? It's really over. Please, don't worry, Miss Artina. Both Fear the Great and I will disappear now. Don't worry. What? Disappear? I'm so sorry, Miss Artina. I'm sorry. What is he trying to do? I think he's going to remove his soul along with Fear the Great. As long as Fear the Great's power keeps getting weaker, the possessed soul will return to Limbo as well. Not even to Hades, huh? To complete nothingness. To Limbo, for capital punishment, from where he will never reincarnate. He deserves it, I guess. What? Considering what he's done, I think he deserves to be tortured even more. Desko agrees with Big Sis. He shouldn't be allowed to just disappear. You want to save him, don't you? Huh? No, I didn't say that. You don't have to pretend. I can tell by the look on your face. <laughs> save him? That's ridiculous. If he is allowed to be saved, then what about all the lives that were lost because of him? Should we go back in time and save them too? He's a helpless fool. A fool who chose to perish because he couldn't bear his own weakness. And you say that you want to save him? Who do you think you are, almighty god? What you're trying to do is the epitome of hypocrisy. You know, you could be right. It might just be for my own satisfaction. What he's done is not something that can be forgiven. The weight of his sins is immeasurable. But that's exactly why I don't want him to be able to take the easy way out by simply disappearing. His sins may not be paid off for centuries. Perhaps it would take more than 400 years. But he must be made to face them. More than 400 years? You're pretty harsh, Artina. You know, that is the worst thing you could ever do to him. Fine. Let's give him the punishment he so rightly deserves. And what would that be? What do you think? Turn him into a prinny, of course! I'll re-educate him thoroughly! As a prinny instructor! Lord, that is an excellent idea. Considering his sins, it will definitely take more than 400 years to pay them off. The soul of a dead villain pays off his sins as a prinny. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Just like you, right? Hey, I'm not a villain, dead, or a printy! I'm up for that idea, though. It's what you're supposed to do when you commit crimes in this world. Desko has no objections either. The problem is, how are we gonna save him? To save him, we must peel his soul away from Fear the Great before they perish together. Then let's go! To save his soul before fear the great perishes, and to guide him down the path he deserves most. As a prinny! <laughs> <laughs>